Um, so we, we use it, uh, we monitor a lot of training, it gives us great feedback on uh, volume and the intensity that guys have trained at. Um, so we look at a number of things, number of accelerations, uh, acceleration rate, percentage of top speed achieved, um, distance covered in the various zones and we try and use that to, to basically plan our weeks and we try and monitor workload, keep guys fresh and, um, and hopefully come the weekend we've, we've given them enough training stimulus to improve but also keep them fresh for that particular game so uh, it's a massive addition to, uh, to what we're doing here and it's, uh, I think um, you know, it's certainly helped us taking our guys to the next level in terms of their physical development. Uh, I, I reckon it's improved just it shows guys um, how hard they work. Um, you know, I know I use it sometimes, you don't feel like you're doing a lot and a lot is unseen in a game like chasing kicks and things like that, but there's people that work really hard off the ball and you, you know, if you know you're still covering a few miles, you're, you know, you're adding value to the team even if you're not always um, making line breaks and scoring tries, there's, there's still um, a lot that you're doing on the park. I think it's been pretty good. Like, uh, it's good, uh, good monitored. It, you know, the last couple of times I've worn it and see how how many k's you clocked up, and it's good for uh, recovery. I think, like, uh, so you you know what your body's been under and the stress it's been under, so it, it gives you a good, uh, you know, idea of you know how to, how, what to do for the next couple of days after after a game to make sure you you recover. The guys around here are using it a lot for training to see you know the, the training load and the workload on how long you've been on your feet. So. Stuff like that is pretty good. Uh, overall, for the majority of the week, we'll just look at total distance, uh, high intensity distance of about 15 kilometres an hour. That will give us a reasonably good gauge as to who's experiencing what type of load. And then from there, we'll just look at number of sprints across the week and actually just check according to each guy's individual performance plan. Are they getting the required sprint stimulus each week to cope with the demands of match play? Cool. Can you? Uh... I saw in your, your review this morning, there was a couple of guys in your small side of games, your yeah. mini games, that uh, try and get their numbers up in different ways. How's that happen? Oh, well, to make it a little bit more competitive with match play and with the team trainings, we, uh, we try and put a little bit of a marker on each guy. So in our mini team games, it might be total distance covered, just pit two guys against each other or which team's covering the most distance. So with the use of things like a Google map, you can see pretty quickly who's uh, actually playing the game and who's just off to the side doing shuttles to <laughs> see if they can help their team out with some distance. But generally speaking, that sort of thing, it's good for um, building uh, intensity as well as competition in the, in the guys. Is that sort of one of your motivators? Absolutely. I mean, the guys have reported that having the GPS on their back actually feels like there's someone watching them all the time and holds them a bit more accountable. So yeah, during a session, if we can uh, if we can get the GPSs on the boys, they'll actually feel like they they have to give it all every single time because they know it's being monitored. So that competitive element does come out.